said, girl, you need a hot boy She said, you need to stop f***ing with them thighs, boy I said, you need a real nigga She said, yes, law And what you need your ex for? I'm triple X, law Okay Okay, guys, so I'm starting off with my ColourPop Concealer And this is the shade 30 And I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes For the makeup tutorial So how do y'all do this without music? Cause literally like, I'm about to go crazy. Like that's the only way I am so used to doing my makeup. And if you hear a little noise, that's just my mom watching TV. But um, yeah, how do you guys deal with this? Cause I need music, I need music. And for this makeup look, since I am going a little simple and a little kind of simple sexy, I did, you know, try to put my hair back and just pin it on the side so everything could just be classy, you know? Just make sure that your concealer is not wet, but it's tacky, because we're not going to go ahead and set that concealer. So I'll be right back show you guys how to do this makeup tutorial I'm gonna just go ahead and do one eye off camera so I know what I'm going with so the three things I'm using I am using winky luxe kitten palette and I am going in with the shade strut so let's go ahead and do that and if this makeup look comes out different no. so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this shade as my transition shade because I want this look to be simplest as it can be for you guys if you just want to go for that soft look okay so the next shade I'm gonna go in is with what everybody uses for Valentine's Day oh, Renaissance I hope this is not dirty. Renaissance palette that I just showed in my haul. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use Burnt Orange and Realgar. So as you can see, I am just blending it out because that's our main shade. And I'm just going in circular motion. Now, if you do go in with a brush like this, you will see a lot of fallout from the palette. Like when you go in and you dig in, you will see a lot, but it is what it is. And you know, you keep it pushing. And I'm just going in with the slightest hand ever. I'm not going in harsh. Ooh. I hate using brushes like this with soft pack shadows because literally it will dig into your shadow and you're looking crazy and you don't have any more of your favorite shades. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take that shade out of this palette. And like I said, it's called Strut. And just go ahead and blend that top out. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that shade Macaroon, um, one of the colors that I brought for the quad. And we're just gonna go ahead and tap it on like a shimmer shade. We're not gonna go ahead and put it on concealer and stuff because this is a simple look for you guys. This isn't a kind of difficult, as you can say, look. So yeah, that's what we're going for. And don't forget to spray some Fix Plus or Smashbox Primer Water. Now, if you are hooded eyed like me, you have hooded eyes, just go ahead and go a little above your crease so that color won't transfer up top. You're just doing the motion of how you do a cut crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the Renaissance shades to go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so now you see that it's blended out. 
and it looks like a smooth transition. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back in with those two shades of the Renaissance palette. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right around here and go ahead and blend and pack that on with this, these two shades, so it won't look rough. So I did already use my pencil liner and my liquid liner, the Ciate London Wonder Wand. And for the liquid liner, I just went ahead and used M Cosmetics. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera because I do need to get close to the mirror. And I am going to be applying the Mad Eye Eyelashes by The Makeup Shop. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and go get some food because, you know. You just ain't gonna get into it. But I got the chipotle. And I'm ready to eat. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my face. And like I did say, I did go ahead and put on my lashes from the makeup shot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Smashbox water to go ahead and refresh my face. Okay guys, so for this video with first impressions being in the title, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to be using the Fenty Foundation. With the Fenty Foundation, I will be doing a first impression on Saturday with that foundation. Today, I'll be doing a first impression with the new Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. It says for 24 hours. But we ain't keeping it on for 24 hours. I did go ahead and I seen it came with a pump, which I love so much. Because as you know, if you were watching me in the beginning, you would know that I would go ahead and I would always apply the Dewy Plus Smooth Foundation from Maybelline. And they never did have a top and foundation would be everywhere. So I'm glad they went ahead and included a top with it. I love you, Maybelline. Thank you. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And this is in the shade Honey. Oh no, I'm tripping. This is the shade Golden 312. Yeah, that should be my shade, definitely. I don't know how this dries down, so hopefully, I'm talking. Good. And as you know, for the past, past around like three videos, I have been using brushes to go ahead and blend out my foundation. Oh, this is my perfect shade. I totally forgot to go ahead and use my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Guys, this minimized my pores. And quick tip, if you're never really sure that if your foundation is really matching you, then just go ahead and blend it straight down your neck around this part. Kind of look like it matches you. It's not a tip, it's a hack. This coverage is bomb. Like, oh, yes. Mmm. I don't know. I feel so bored without music on. But we gonna do it. We gonna do it anyway. We gonna, I'm gonna come through for you guys. This foundation looks so good. So now to blend out this concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Morphe sponge. Okay, so for this makeup look, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a first impression on the Luxie powder. And then for the second makeup look, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the Cover FX powder that I showed you guys for the glam look on Saturday. Okay, so I took a little powder in the cap and just go ahead and go in with my powder. Okay, for bronzer, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I am gonna go ahead and use my favorite contour brush, which is the Morphe R14. It smells so good. So next is, like I told you guys, like I have been using for a little while, is the Anastasia Glow Sugar Kit. So for this look, since we got all pink, going on a little hint of pink and purple I'm gonna go in starburst and that's this pink shade right here well that's one thing you can count on if you can't count on a man 
you sure enough count on a highlight. Since we did do a soft look, I am gonna go ahead and add some highlight in the tear ducts. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go with the blush. And like I did say in my video, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the 2016 Holiday Color Wheel Blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Concept. Okay, so for the lipstick, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the Dread Lipstick by Anastasia. Okay, so now I'm going to go in the middle of my lips with Starfish. Okay guys, this is the finished look. And now we're just going to go ahead and set our face. So since this is a full coverage beat to the God's face, I would be using Urban Decay All Nighter Spray or I would be using Scandinavia Spray. But... I'll be taking this off right after I'm done with this video. So we're just going to go ahead and go in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. Okay guys, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like this video. And if you want to be notified every single time I upload, don't forget to click that bell below. And if you do want to keep up with me, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. I will have all the links below. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye guys.